Good morning, Quintus. You're looking especially happy today. Good morning, Marcus. I'm feeling very happy. Do you know, I just love these non-uniform days. It really brightens up guard duty. Oh, and by the way, happy Easter. Easter? What's Easter? Well, Easter is today. Sunday, the Sunday after Good Friday. Oh, OK. Wait, what's Good Friday? You know, Friday just gone. I was talking to the lads and we decided that since we'd had such a fun time killing that Jesus fellow, we would name it Good Friday. We're thinking about celebrating it every year. Oh, right. Yeah, yes, killing that Jesus bloke was fun. Do you remember when we put the crown made of thorns on his head because people were calling him the King of the Jews? That was hilarious. Oh, yeah. But do you know, I think the best part was when you made him, Marcus, carry that cross across town. The look on everyone's faces was priceless. To think, last week everyone was celebrating him while he was riding on the back of a donkey. I think they were starting to get ideas that he was someone special. Maybe even someone who should be king. <laughs> Good thing we reminded them who's really in charge. Who's that then? Us! Rome! We're the biggest and the best empire the world has ever seen. And we're in charge here. Oh, right, yeah. So, did you get to keep any of the stuff that belonged to Jesus? Yeah, I got his tunic. I mean, it's not bad quality. It, uh, it keep me warm on colder days. I, I mean, what did you get, Marcus? I got his sandals. They smelt a bit, but I guess he'd been wearing them a while. That trial lasted ages. Oh, uh, yeah, well, do you know, I think they were just making it up if they went along. I don't think that Jesus bloke did anything wrong. I just think they wanted him out of the way, dead. Does that bother you? It doesn't seem right to execute somebody who didn't deserve it. Well, no, not really. I mean, kill people and guard things. That's just about all we know. Speaking of guarding things, what's this place anyway? Oh, this is the tomb they buried Jesus in. We don't want anyone getting in, you know. Well, it's a good job we're here. Do you remember what they taught us in guard duty? Yes. Stand with our back firmly away from the thing we're supposed to be guarding. And remember, Marcus, don't turn around under any circumstances. By the way, did you notice anything strange when you were coming down for shift change strange? earlier? Mm, not really. I mean, the other guys were acting a bit strange, but I think they were just upset. I mean, they'd missed non-uniform day by working the night shift. No, there was more than that. They looked almost like they'd seen a ghost. Now, now that you mention it, there were some women running around town this morning, shouting about something, um... What were they saying? Uh, he's alive! He's alive! Something like that! Did they say who? Well, one of them said something about Jesus. <laughs> but it must have been a different Jesus. After all, we killed him. And there isn't any coming back from that. Not when you've got two of the finest Roman soldiers against you, at least. No, I wouldn't want to mess with us. Still, you don't think they were, were talking about Jesus, though? I mean, he wasn't on the cross for very long. Maybe no, he could no, survive. no, there's no way. I stabbed him with my spear just to make sure he was definitely dead. Did you notice anything strange happen when he died? I mean, it felt like there was an earthquake. Yeah, something did feel strange, uh, but I'm, I'm sure it was probably nothing. Yeah, but 
What if he wasn't no. dead? I've already told you, Marcus, he was dead. Yeah, I know, but what if he was someone special? What if somehow he came back to life? Well, given that him coming back to life is impossible, you shouldn't worry. But even if he did, he'd be stuck in that tomb. Do you know, they put a giant stone over the entrance. There's no way he could get that out of the way. You'd need to be God to move that stone on your own. That sounds familiar. I think I ran into some people who were saying something about a stone being rolled away earlier on. Do you know, Marcus, what a strange place Jerusalem is. I mean, people ranting about dead men being alive, stones being rolled away. Sometimes I'm glad for the simple things, like guarding a tomb that's sealed with a stone. You don't, um, you don't think we should check, do you? Make sure the tomb is still sealed. Well, if you want to check and get it out of your system, then be my guest. Oh no! How long did it be like that for? Did you check it was still shut when you got here? No! No, you don't need to. Most people tend to stay in their tombs. What are we going to do? I don't know. We weren't trained to deal with this. I think we need to find him. Do we kill him again? No! I don't think that's a good idea. I think he may have been more special than we thought he was, Marcus. You, you don't think it's true? What he was saying, do you? You don't think that he was the son of God and the king of the Jews? Do you know? I think he is. I think he might be more powerful than, than Rome. Maybe even the king of us all. I hope he's not mad at us for killing him. We were just following orders. Oh, I wouldn't worry too much. I get the impression he's the forgiving type. 